everyone! Thank you guys for stopping in. My name is Taylor and this is Taylor Bittner Vlogs. I wanted to touch base with you guys. It has been a little over two weeks since I have done a vlog and I just want to apologize. It has been crazy here at the Bittner house. So, Let's get started. Um, this video, if you're interested, is going to be about our adoption journey, specifically who we've used uh, throughout this process as a consultant, agencies, home studies, all of that jazz. So I have a lot of material to go over. I will try to make this video as fast as possible, but I will do follow-up videos that will go in depth a little bit more um, about some certain topics of the adoption process. So let's get started. So, you guys probably see these beautiful folders I have over here. Um, the main thing to know in adoption is you need to be organized and you have to start somewhere, right? So, um, after some research, I decided that um, I was going to really look forward to um, digging in some information about consultants and my husband and I found Christian Adoption Consultants and it has honestly been the best decision uh, by far that we have made throughout this whole process. So I'm going to go over with you what Christian Adoption Consultants is and um, go from there. So Christian Adoption Consultants is, is a consultant um, for firm or agency that has consultants everywhere all over the U.S. and you should check out their website. I will put it in the description box below. Um, but basically, in a nutshell, they partner with you as families and hold your hand through the whole adoption process, tell you where you're at, what's next, what to look forward to, things to look out for, and um, because there is risk involved, uh, financial risk usually uh, with adoption. So yeah, so I have, um, organization is really, really big for me. It's something that I actually enjoy, but um, if that's not something that you are good at keeping things organized, um, I would highly recommend getting folders and labeling them what's what. So um, this first one is a to-do folder and I just put everything that we needed to get done um, in alphabetical order literally. So okay, so to start out with, um, we gave CAC a call and had an amazing conversation with our consultant and she got us signed up right away. Um, I'm not going to go too into detail about like costs involved and how much everything was just because I will do a breakdown video at the end of our journey just labeling and showing you guys what our adoption costs. Um, but um, after signing up with them, you do application, you sign up, you pay them their fee, and they send you an email uh, getting started. So the adopted parent packet is sent to you with steps one through six of what the whole adoption process will look like for you. Um, so after you sign up with them, they actually sent us, I can't tell you, like maybe five or six different agencies that um, they have used in the past that take care of your home studies. They know it's going to be um, a good experience for, for you. So we, I called a couple of them. I want to say it was like two or three that I called. I just kind of interviewed and asked some questions. And they give you those questions. You don't have to be educated. You don't have to know anything about the adoption process because your consultant's going to hold your hand and literally going to walk you through the whole process. So she gave me the questions I should ask. She gave me all the information about the home study. And then she set me up with a really great provider in our area. And um, our home study, let me tell you guys, I've heard some horror stories, people freaking out over home studies, cleaning their house top to bottom, you know, buying all this stuff. Our home study was absolutely a breeze. It was actually entertaining. It was fun. It was educational. Um, we had a blast. So using a consultant, it, it's just one of the great perks. Um, so real quick before I get into the next step, which is the home study, I do want to give you some pros and the reasons why we chose to use um, Christian Option Consultants. So one of the main reasons that people choose to go with a consultant is because they have a multi-agency approach. So instead of finding one agency in your area um, or in your state that you're going to apply to for your adoption, um, working with a consultant, they have those relationships with those agencies already and you can 
apply to multiple agencies. So it's a multi-agency approach. And the great thing about that is, um, I'm not sure the statistics, but I think it's somewhere between, if you just go with one agency, it's like on average, you wait 12 to 16 months, or something like that to actually get matched. Where if you have multiple agencies, it makes sense. You're showing your profile to more birth mothers, more families uh, with multiple agencies, that time's gonna be cut in half maybe some six to 12 months that you're waiting on average for a match. So that's one of the reasons why my husband and I um, went with the consultants as well. Not only do they hold your hand throughout the whole process, but you can apply to multiple agencies and really have multiple agencies working on your behalf to find the perfect match for, for your family. So really excited. As you know, if you've been following our journey, we have been trying to start our family. Uh, we did do IVF and um, now we're into adoption and we will revisit. I have had a couple of you guys ask questions if we're going to be revisiting IVF and we definitely have two more embryos, you know, in the future we will revisit that. Um, but right now we just feel that adoption is where, um, where we're supposed to start and really grow our family. So we're really excited that you guys are here along with us. So um, getting back to after you contract with CAC or any consultant, they give you home study providers in your area, you complete your home study, and normally they told us a home study can take anywhere between two to four months on average to complete. I did it in two weeks, or we did it in two weeks. Um, I do think that it is part of my personality and we're really motivated, I'm really organized. When I get going on something, I kind of work a little bit fast, but Regardless, I wouldn't have been able to do it that fast if I didn't have the CAC partnering with me, telling me exactly what we need, um, and giving us a recommendation of a really good home provider in our area. She honestly made it a breeze. So we went with My Florida Adoptions for our home study, and I definitely highly recommend them. They are in North Florida, we're south, so I think our consultant had to drive like three, three and a half hours to get to us, but um, it was really, really great. And I let me know in the comments below if you want me to do a video on specifically our home study, how we got it to be two weeks um, from start to finish, what was included um, in that home study. I would be happy to put together a video for you guys if that's something you want. So after the home study um, comes the agency list and profile. So throughout this whole time we've been doing our home study, um, the CAC, our consultant, has been putting together our profile. So I answered, I want to say about 50 questions, I think Kenny answered 50, and then we answered probably another 100 together. So it was like 200 questions um, all about us and how we met, our life, our family, how we want to raise our child, you know, what we're looking for, open adoption versus closed adoption. This is a domestic um, infant adoption, what we decided to go with, so there's international adoption. Um, and then there's domestic, and uh, we chose domestic, and then we also chose infant. So um, I believe it's from birth to, I think it goes up to nine months. Um, the next thing on your list is to choose agencies. Once again, one of the great reasons about going with a Christian adoption consultant is you get to apply and be a part of multiple agencies. So this is the stage that my husband and I are at right now. We are applying and have applied to, um, I believe it's, two or three agencies and then the CAC has partners with three or four agencies that send them situations um, throughout you know throughout the month so technically we're really a part of five to seven agencies. I haven't received our completed profile um, our consultant is still working on that but once we do receive that profile that will go into the applications of all the agencies that we are applying for and um, I can do a separate video on what that looks like, finding the agencies, what they require, um, and what we have to do. We're actually printing out all the paperwork and sending it by um, post office, by mail. Um, so it will take a couple of weeks for them to receive the mail and then to go through it and approve us for the application process. And then while we're kind of in this in-between stage of waiting to see if we um, you know, have been accepted in these agencies and our profile being finished so that way the birth families can see them. We are filling out uh, grants and uh, looking at some loan options and putting together some fundraisers. And the people who maybe um, aren't familiar with adoption, you know, some people can say, what? 
that's kind of weird. You're, you guys are fundraising for this. Um, but adoption is one huge lump sum of money that is, um, you know, that's due like that. So if we're matched and uh, the baby is born next week, we have seven days to come up with. It depends. Each situation is different, but twenty-five to fifty thousand dollars in cash, one lump sum. Where if you are having a biological child, you, you pay kind of monthly. You know, you have a nurse, you have a baby shower, you get things that you need. Um, you're breastfeeding, or you're each month. It's a gradual, um, you know, I won't say payment, but you're paying into um, what the child needs. For an adoption circumstance, you need that money in cash up front. So. Not a lot of people have $50,000 laying around in cash. So, yes, fundraising is something that is really encouraged by the CAC and encouraged by a lot of families who have been in this process. And it's a really great way to get your community, get your family, get your churches, get everybody involved. And they actually get to be a part of growing your family. And it's actually amazing. So we're looking at some opportunities for that and um, as well as some grants. So I will do a video about grants um, in the next couple of weeks as I'm going through the process because I'm learning too. <laughs> We've never done this before. So the CAC actually gave us um, a list of grants and some fundraising ideas and ones that they've actually seen uh, people actually receive. So I'm filling out, I want to say it's 10 grants um, within the next month so I'm hoping to do about two to three grants a week for the next month and it's not guaranteed that you'll get you know money uh, or you'll be approved for the grant but um, you know it doesn't hurt to try and um, so that's my job as the wifey <laughs> it's gonna be spending hours um, on the computer doing that so we're really excited for that and then really after that um, we're just waiting to have God's timing and to find um, our match to our birth mother and a family and we are um, hoping for an open adoption um, and once again I'm doing another video um, about the difference between open and closed and why we have decided to do an open adoption but I think it's going to be absolutely beautiful and we're really really excited to see um, what all God has in store for us so if you guys have any questions I think I'm going to end the video here because it's ended up being really really long um, but yes, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. I will be making multiple videos of what we're doing and where we're at in the process um, just so I can help you guys out. Maybe you're going through this as well or maybe you just want to educate yourself. So uh, thank you guys for watching and um, don't forget to like and subscribe this video. I don't know if you guys want more videos unless you tell me like, subscribe. Thanks guys.